Hello, this is Ben Estelle, your favorite gospel artist. Today's episode is going to be absolutely spicy, so get yourself a drink. I'll be right back to share a little more with you. See you soon. I have missed you. It's been a minute. And today I would love to share with you some thoughts about focus. A lot of time when you tell people about focus, they think I'm going to just keep my mind on that one thing. Hum, and that's it. No, there's a lot more to focus. Focus has different components. And today I want to talk to you about focus and familiar voices. I would like to tell you about Joseph. So Joseph in the Bible had a dream. The Lord gave him a beautiful dream that showed him that he was going to be a shining star and it was going to shine brighter than his siblings. Being so excited and so convinced that this was of the Lord, his entire being was consumed by the beauty of this dream. So he came out and told his siblings about the dream out of excitement and just let it all out. He didn't know that his siblings did not necessarily share in that dream. They thought, um, who do you think you are? So these people decided to, let's just say, get rid of the dream and the dreamer. So his brothers decided to sell him. So they sold him to some people that were passing by who were on their way to a foreign land. What I want you to pick up from this story is that the people who took care, quote unquote, of Joseph were familiar voices. These were his siblings. It can't get any closer than this. This is his brothers. This was his family. These are people that he loved, people he cared and trusted. I mean, if anybody's against you in this world, your family is going to be there for you. These were the same folks who sold the boy. They sold him because they wanted to get rid of the dream. They did not think about the fact that this was going to not only destroy the family dynamic, but it was really, really going to do something really heavy to their father who was already old. So the point here is a lot of times when you have a dream in your heart, don't be too trusting until you become careless and just let everything out. The Bible says, Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The people that you seem to trust and love may not understand your dream and may not see it the way you do see them. Joseph was around his siblings, not the neighbors, not strangers, not classmates, not a best friend. This is his blood. And he told them everything. And they were the one that told him what he shouldn't, couldn't, could not, might not be able to do. Sometimes you need to keep that dream inside. Let it grow. Let the Spirit of God nurture that dream with and through you until it comes to fruition. And when you're putting the pieces together for that dream to take shape, you're going to have to learn to sometimes block things off. Meaning, you don't see anything. Sometimes we meet some women or some ladies, I should say, who are maybe far away from family, that are going through a situation and they don't tell their parents. They don't say to their parents, oh, I have this, that, that happening because they're building something. They're incubating. There are some young men that may be building a business and one day they come out, million dollar business, and everybody's wondering, hey, what happened? Because they were smart enough to keep it inside. The word of God is our guide and the Lord is the one who gives ideas. He's the one that gives you the ability to make wealth. So when the idea comes, Keep your focus on the Lord. Drown the familiar voices. Drown the best friends. Drown all the people that have an opinion. And another thing that you should really pay attention to, it is really good to some extent to get advice from friends, from family. But sometimes you also need to pay attention to the people who are speaking to you. If you have a friend who always starts something and never ends it, I don't think you want to listen to that person to build a lasting dream. So you know what? As you focus on what you want to do, get into the habit of talking to yourself and talking to the Lord. Everybody else will come when everything is out and they will hail and clap for you. So until I see you next time, keep dreaming, 
keep building and hey see you soon bye